how is it doing Samsung users Mr. Android here. Today we are taking a look at some of the best applications that you need to install on your Samsung device right now. All these apps are super useful and it's good to have them on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. With that being said, let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this video and guys let me know in the comment section which Samsung smartphone you are currently using. So drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. The first app on this list goes by the name called Gazio. Well, Samsung devices comes with a great display and a great display deserves some beautiful wallpapers. This app is loaded with some unique and exclusive collection of amazing wallpapers for your phone. Not only it comes with a great set of static wallpapers, it also got a bunch of animated live wallpapers that can definitely make your home screen stand out. It's a very different wallpaper app and you can tell that by the wallpapers itself. I am sure you are not going to find these kind of exclusive wallpapers anywhere else for your Samsung phone. Apart from the wallpapers, I also like the UI of this app. It is clean with some nice animations and there are so many different categories that you can choose from. My favorites are the vibrant flows and the landscape set of wallpapers which I think looks really really good especially when you have an AMOLED screen. You can get this app for absolutely free from the Play Store. Apart from the live wallpapers, you can download and set all these wallpapers for completely free. Even though Samsung's One UI has a lot of customization features, when it comes to in-display fingerprint, we still get this boring animation and there is no option to change and customize this fingerprint animation. Luckily, I was able to find this app called Fingerprint Live Animation which is completely free on the Play Store and what it does is, basically it provides you with a bunch of cool live wallpapers with different animations for your fingerprint. All you need to do is just install this app on your phone. Once done, simply open and here you get a set of cool live wallpapers with beautiful animations for your fingerprint. You can combine different wallpapers with different animations and there are so many options to choose from. You just need to select whichever you like and here you can actually change the animation position as per your device fingerprint placement. You can also increase or decrease the animation size and once that is done, just tap on save and continue. You will get a preview of your lock screen. Just click on set as animation and then tap on done. Now when you lock your phone, you get a brand new animation and this changes the entire look of your fingerprint. Definitely try this one out. Next up, we have an app called Shortcut Maker. It's a simple app that lets you to create shortcuts for anything you want. But if you're a Samsung user, by using this app, you will easily able to lock applications on your phone. As you guys know, we don't have a default app lock feature on Samsung devices. So what you can do is, first you need to install this app on your phone. Once done, go back to your home screen, press and hold, select widgets and place this shortcut maker widget onto your home screen. Now select the app which you would like to lock on your phone. For example, I will select Gmail and now you need to enable this option called shortcut lock. Finally click on create shortcut. Here you can see I have got two Gmail apps on my home screen and this one has been created using the shortcut maker app. Now if I try to open Gmail, it asks me for a password or I can scan my fingerprint. Now in order to hide this default Gmail app icon, just long press and go to home screen settings. Select this option that says hide apps on home screen and app screen. Here I will simply select Gmail and click on done. When I go back, I only have one Gmail app on my phone and when I try to open, it asks me for a password or a pin. By using this method, you can easily lock any app on your phone and it works exactly like a native app locker. Make sure you check this one out. If I open my camera and go inside settings, here I've got a brand new option called Camera Assistant which you probably don't have. This basically unlocks more features and gives you more control to take better pictures on your phone. For example, if I enable this option called Quick Tap Shutter, it actually improves the shutter speed while taking pictures. I can also go into Capture Speed and select Prioritize Speed. That way I can capture photos of moving objects even better and it solves one of the biggest issue that every Samsung phone has which is the shutter lag. I can even set how many photos should my phone take when I set the timer and I can go up to 7 pictures. There are a whole bunch of settings which will definitely improve the camera experience and to unlock these hidden features, you will need a good lock module called camera assistant. So just go inside good lock and install camera assistant, you will find a direct link in the description below. Did you know Samsung does not include its native music app 
when the phone ships out to you. Just go to the Galaxy store and download Samsung Music. It's free and it's got a lot of cool features. First, you get access to Spotify right inside the Samsung Music and you can also access all other music files that you have on your phone. I really like how it integrates Spotify and now you can listen to both offline and online music by using the same app on your phone. You can simply swipe to see all different tabs such as favorites, playlists, tracks, albums, artists and more. Not only this, if you just go inside settings, you get more useful features. You can adjust the playback speed. You can automatically set each track to have same volume. You can control music from the lock screen, skip silence between tracks. You can manage all your tabs and do lot more. I think it's a really nice music player that you can get for your Samsung phone. Definitely check this one out. You will find all the links in the description below. So that's pretty much it for this video. These are some amazing applications that you must have on your Samsung phone. If you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.